Oh god, I think this is worse than dwarves. It's 300 TV down. Wonderful. Um, I've had two hours sleep. And my neck's killing. And I'm really super pissed off. So this is going to be this is going to be great. <laughs> okay, the, the good news is he's not the best blood ball player in the world. Um, <laughs> he's got a plus armor, minus armor wolf. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is something, isn't it? But this could still go badly. Is there a good star I could get? Jordel? Zara for the whole match? Or a wizard for one turn? I could have just wizard. I could have Willow! I could have actually used Willow. Look at me, what a bad ass. <laughs> Wizard and Willow. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean it's not a choice. Uh Frosty. <laughs> <laughs> my sleep pattern isn't exactly a choice <laughs> because what happened was I played I played Battle Brothers and then uh, I thought well this is okay you know I can go to sleep for like six hours seven hours seven hours I could have gone to sleep for and then play Blood Bowl but then my neck was coming in I couldn't sleep at all I just could not it was completely impossible to sleep my neck had been killing me and then it's killing me again now that I've woke up but eventually it got to the point where I could sleep for two hours. Thank you very much, Space, for the absolutely massive raid. <laughs> yes, Uncle Sherman, yeah, then that's absolutely... Um, you know, just make sure if anyone says that you might not know as much because you're a beginner in Rebel, make sure you ban them and call them uh, toxic and a disgrace to the community. I don't like taking painkillers, Volkos, but yeah, maybe I should have some. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I should have some. I've got a five SPP. Yes, I do. Oh, I haven't turned off this fucking music. Yes, I have. I'm just hearing it. This is really rough. I feel absolutely fucking terrible. <laughs> By God. Oh, this, I'm, I'm thinking this is a fucking extra war dancer, but it's not. Why is the model a war dancer? It's a fucking dryad. Whose bright idea was this? <laughs> Glorious calcium. Oh, okay. When I'm going to decorate my tree, I don't know, when he actually casts something and doesn't just instantly root. <laughs> to be fair, he didn't instantly root against the dwarves. He, uh, he, he, was the, he was the spearhead of the attack against the dwarves. That was an amazing game for the tree. Hello, HTK. Of course, hello, calcium. Glorious calcium. Oh. This is so weird. My neck hurts so much. I can't even vaguely look to the left or it kills. I don't know how the fuck I must have been sitting playing Battle Brothers. <coughs> has he only got one dog? No, he's got two. But one hasn't got blodge or anything. He's got a rookie wolf. A blodge wolf that can get tackled or bolted. And a sure ends ghoul that can get tackled or bolted. So, the only thing is if he like randomly dices the living fuck out of us. Which, is 
probably roughly 50 50. it's like a red thing with av on <laughs> number a uh, shoulder pad with 13 on Agility's a ball. And strength is a fist. Same as Warriors. always, Calcium. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. My parents always said I'd never amount to anything. <laughs> But look at me now, 41 months of watching the same guy play games. I guess they were right. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much, Marilyn. <laughs> Over 10 beaver pregnancies. Oh, nearly three and a half years. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. It is a poor necro team for the TV. Yeah, I didn't check his. Uh, I didn't check his. Uh, you know what's it called? Uh, off the pitch stuff. He might have like ten cheerleaders or something. But um, all Solzak. Oh, Helamis. <laughs> the Rona remote. Play any more cyberpunk? No. <laughs> No. Um, how screw rolls miss up? I need your fucking balls. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Elf. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You've made it when you can fritter away. <laughs> fritter away money for 41 months for no real reason or reward. <laughs> so thank you very much, Morbius. <laughs> no, I won't give in until I'm victorious. He's failed all this. I will defend. Oh, he powers anyway. I will defend. Of course he fucking does. Help me, unbelievable. Thank you very much for staying fantastic for nearly three whole beaver pregnancies, nearly a year. Absolutely glorious. Thank you. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, well, that's that tree down for the half. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff Stelling. Yeah, I didn't see how to daunt a zombie. I should have done, obviously. Who wouldn't have a dauntless zombie? <laughs> Who with this record wouldn't? Oh, that's a bit mean. I don't mean mean. You know, maybe he's a beginner. Maybe he just doesn't care. There's lots of reasons. Maybe he's just crap. Who cares? But it's lucky that he is because wouldn't want to be 300 TV down to a good coach with a good team. It's lucky that at least 300 down to somebody with a not great record with a not great team. These are the worst games, yes, because at least if you lose to somebody good, you think, well, maybe I would have, maybe he would have beaten me even if he had nice me. <laughs> but with this, it's just going to be, you know, when he, when he fouls with a guard zombie and Kaz's your guy, which he could have done, then uh, you just feel bad, don't you? Three people stuck on him sucks a bit, doesn't it? Oh, not anymore. <laughs> Cosmic.
Let's check E double my E blow. Hidden plus real. Go me blazer. It's uh, I just think it's a, uh, what's that word called? Perception bias. School. Mm. He hasn't got a tackle. Oh, he's double scored. Hey. He doesn't have any tackle on the team, does he? That's nice, at least. <laughs> Thank you, Lucky Lucas. That's nice of you to say. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my neck is my neck is really bad. Pro health revolution. Oh dear. I remember the Pro health revolution when he just played dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> and some people were surprised. <laughs> that was incredible, wasn't it? The Art Emma's Pro health revolution when he just fucking played dwarves like every other season. <laughs> Except this time he got to be up more pro elves. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Yes, I fondly remember the Artemis' pro elf revolution. Oh god, he nearly just fully picked up the ball. Fully failed to pick up the ball then. We've got, we've got a space cadet in our midst. <laughs> Not just the one who, who hosted. it. <laughs> Rated whatever. <laughs> this is a space cage. <laughs> Let's see if we can find a way to get the ball. Nope. No, there's no way to get the ball. I managed to resist. I managed to resist sacking the ball. Because of course I fucking did. If I blitzed a zombie, I would have at least knocked someone over. Oh, 
god, my, my neck is so painful. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Ducky. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he might surf the dancer, mightn't he? Hopefully, he's not good enough to. Even though it's blatantly obvious, and my best player. <laughs> but I'm hoping he's not good enough to. It's not looking. It's not looking optimistic. Oh Christ! Yeah, it looks like he can't fail, doesn't it? Oh God! You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. Good. You can be mine. I powered anyway. He wasn't up to it. Oh, Dio with a massive raid! Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much, Dio, and welcome, Dio viewers. To air uh, the good icons <laughs> and terrible opponents, <laughs> with all due respect. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, Tom Schnitz. Wow, he just chose the power. Yeah, he's not the he's not the best blood ball coach on earth. So there's a chance. That does mean there's a chance, but on the other hand, it's going to be more disappointing. <laughs> it makes the the inevitable loss more disappointing, doesn't it? It's not that invulnerable, uh, Ori Lensis. It's also got minus armor. <laughs> Yeah, it could be, Ducky. It's not like we're actually going to need the wizard, is it? So at least this, like, the fireball here gets some value out of the wizard. In terms of winning the game. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Good shout, Ducky. I believe you. Oh, no, that just gave the ball to his wolf. He's doing the classic Space Cadet strat of get the ball blitzed every turn. Uh, none of the none of which result in knockdowns. And then uh, somehow, somehow against all odds, <laughs> win the match. <laughs> Sometimes, if the way I sit on the chair, I don't know, like, what it is, but sometimes when I sit on chairs, does anyone else have that? It pisses me off. Needless to say, hello, flicky fuck.
Tô do céu, né? Não. No, I don't. I'm not. I'm not sitting on it. No. <laughs> yeah, I fucking. Oh man, I couldn't do do cycling. Holy shit, I can't even do pretend cycling in the gym. Fuck off with that shit. I don't know how anyone can do cycling. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not sitting directly on it. <laughs> it's disappointing that I marked him next to a guy, but then I didn't want him to be able to hit, you know, down the line. That way. But then if I'd known, he could have reached, which I guess I should have counted the squares to know that he could have stood there, then the dancer standing there would have been better, wouldn't it? <laughs> Maybe Skuro. Maybe Father Skuro. Yeah, it's just an easy 2D, isn't it? It's tragically. Oh, he's just going to do... A GFI to hit first. Gets away with it. Yeah, that's what I need. I need. <laughs> I need better neck and dick support. Let me let me just Google that chair with neck and dick support. <laughs> Is Artemis banned is he when you said that? Oh, oh God. <laughs> no, Crass is clear, no. <laughs> no, it's not big at all. It's it's uh it's just nice. <laughs> <laughs> Find a 2D on the ball here. Maybe. Oh, good. We get another push. Hey, of course the tree does it. The infinite tackle blocks do absolutely fuck all, then the tree randomly rolls a power. Excellent. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Base him then. Screw it. Hope to base, base, base. <laughs> Fuck off, help you, dickhead. <laughs> oh, dear me. Probably just get it straight back. Hey. <laughs> Fuck 
can now. Oh. <laughs> Uh, a superior wealth star. <laughs> oh man, the Dimmy Banning was horrific, wasn't it? <laughs> Dimmy Banning, he just literally, he literally did the Hallo mode. <laughs> Got banned. <laughs> as well who'd been banned for ages and then one of them I just rebanned instantly because they were just straight away fucking said something that pissed me off I go oh, fuck's sake Luckily, he doesn't seem to know that catches are strength too. Doesn't matter, he'll make the 3 plus anyway. Yeah, exactly, yeah, Dev, yeah, that was funny, wasn't it? That was indeed funny. He didn't even know he'd been banned at all. <laughs> I was really upset, I pissed him off. <laughs> really worried that but genuinely pissed him off. Um, I've got no idea. I think he thought the catcher was strength two, strength three. I didn't realise it was a catcher or whatever. <laughs> Finally get a knockdown, outrageous. He's not dead though, is he? He's not bloody dead. Yeah, he'll just foul him if I don't um, stand up. So I guess I've got to stand up. Yeah, that will be great, won't it, G6? Yeah, that'll be that'll be very interesting, I think. I think it will... I think that'll be a very interesting and good change. Or at least interesting. <laughs> Maybe good. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be real interesting, isn't it? Like, it's not an earth-shattering change, like, it doesn't change it um, completely, but it still, still changes it a bit, doesn't it? Not 
bloody dead by all. Yeah, it significantly improves uh, halfling one turns, doesn't it? And uh, well, I mean, stunty one turns are improved like a hell of a lot. A hell of a lot stunty one turns, and uh, you know, obviously the other ones as well, like uh, even the. Um, Even Even uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, got the power with mighty blow, glorious. There's nothing to him. Not so glorious. I don't know why I've got a guy around the back. There's only one way to beat them, get round the back. Heavy nine holds. <laughs> oh dear. No, you can't triple fail, no, um, NY. You can't triple fail one roll. But it means you could roll two double skulls in one turn. Surprisingly, the rules were made by a dwarf coach. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's no SPP to farm. Uh, he's on three. I don't want to risk not scoring it. I don't want to risk not scoring, and I don't want to risk not scoring on him either. So, all I can say, help, is shut your fucking mouth. Why don't you shut your whole mouth? <laughs> We can get fucking surfed there, that's not good. Oh, it's a great one there. They've got the uh they've got the rule where the noblars don't count for uh TV, so they're not that bloated TV wise. Yeah, they, this is, you can see all their linemen are completely free TV wise, so yeah, they can start with six. They can start with six re-rolls, uh, six, six ogres, and then they can just induce the re-rolls. Um, you know, so they can like, can do that. Yeah, only if he rolls like a five or a six on the throw or something though, and if they land. But I guess you can just start doing that when you've lost. <laughs> yeah, dwarves, Jesus. Do you know what? Do you know what? Somebody. I mean, not that I'm not that I'm criticizing 
the uh, level of understanding on the Blood Bowl 3 Discord, of course. I would never do such a thing. But, on the Blood Bowl 3 Discord, somebody said, Skaven are the only buff team in this rule set. That's what he thought. And you know what? I, I presumably he thought they were buffed because throwers were made better at passing and disregarded the fact that, you know, gutters were all made terrible at throwing. But because the thrower got a tiny bit better at throwing, he thought Skaven were the only buffed team. Yep. And he probably thought fucking Animal Savagery was good as well. He's probably one of those people. It's hard to believe, isn't it? It's like, I just don't understand how people can think it and then comment it. You know, like, I, like that to me, the thing is the commentating, you know? Commenting on it. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rock up to a, to a chess discord and, and start talking about Queen's Pawn to E7 or anything, would I? You know? I don't know fuck all about it. I'd keep my mouth shut. <laughs> we just confidently states, Skaven are the only buff team. <laughs> no, I ravel. It's terrible. It's absolutely, completely terrible. And it makes... It makes... What's it, what are they called? Um... Rat ogres go from something that I actually take when I start a, uh, when I very rarely start a uh, Skaven team. It goes from something I would always take to something I would never, ever take. So yeah, I, I think it's, in my opinion, it's absolutely terrible. But you know, who's to say if it's right or wrong? But I, I would never take one now. Oh yes, a glorious little mighty blow. Making the difference as well for the KO. If he stays out, I'll be all down to mighty blow, baby. <laughs> really try. Yeah, you know, they, they lost claw. They lost piling on. <laughs> and they, they lost half of gutter runner's utility. <laughs> but hey, they got <laughs> their throwers got plus one to pass, and their rogues became completely unplayable. And there is a Blood Bowl three game in the works. Yes, it's uh, it's it's coming out early twenty twenty one. Um, they've like you know they've advertised it a little bit. There's there's some uh, there's some promotional material for promotional material for it and stuff. Hello, Necro Impotence. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, Dev, that's the thing that they're, they're, all these people are like, oh, it's good on Underworld, and it's like, no, it's fucking not. Underworld are pretty great, the fact that they can have, like, 14 players on the field now. They're not so good if they've got 13 players on the field. Like, they're worse if they've got 13 on the field. <laughs> like, I don't know how that's hard to understand. And it's not even about removing your own players, because, as bad as that is, because um, it's still, like... You know, you've got the position, like, really stupid and have somebody attending them. Otherwise, they'll fully bonehead. It's like, it's just, it's just worse. It's just horrible. Like, it's, it's actively horrible how bad it is. Yeah, exactly. And the, the troll's just better anyway. Like, it's, it's, it's mind-boggling. People are mind-boggling. Felice Navidad, take care, mate. Oh dear. Wait, what was that? What was that? I've got no idea what that was. I've got to go stream -lapse. Yeah, Vamps have animal savagery. I, well, I think what happened with that was they didn't want to, like, you know, make a new bloodlust. So they put off making it till the spike. Wow, Necro, thank you very much. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that was a lot. 50 euro, thank you very, very much. Is that is that foreign? 
<laughs> is that is that Merry Christmas in foreign or is it like some player for for Real Madrid that I've never heard of? <laughs> Oh, brilliant a blitz. Right, luckily, there's a bit of defence against the blitz. Yeah, what, what, what is that? <laughs> I assume it means, like, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Is it Spanish, is it? Yeah, Spanish. Thank you very much. <laughs> you could say I'm ignorant, <laughs> and you'd be right. <laughs> I don't know the song, no, no. Yeah, yeah. So I, the, the the whole the whole Vance thing, I'm pretty sure they just uh, they just didn't bother doing it. Um, it is, yeah, it is typical jelly deals. Of course, it's typical. I, I'm I'm just I'm not typical. No, I'm I'm a particularly bad example of a human being. So, <laughs> Brit or otherwise. So yeah. I'm pretty sure what happened with the vamps is, yeah, the two plus is great. I'm sure they just didn't want to think about them. And they wanted to wait until the spike to, you know, work out what the hell was going on. Or whatever. <laughs> it is a plus, it's even better than a plus AV werewolf. It's a plus AV minus AV werewolf. <laughs> of course it's a blitz I don't think there was any chance of anything other than a blitz really 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 what's this? 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then tackling <laughs> Get banged on. Glorious. The blitz meant he exposed a good player. Oh, yeah. Job it was three D. Well, you can, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I mean they'll still be like, you know, what, what, what do, what do Linos pass on a four plus? I'd still be doing that in the new rules. <laughs> sometimes, aren't it? You're still going to do it sometimes in the new rules. Especially as it's that it's that it's it's less to level as well, isn't it? So that wraith. <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> oh wow. Fair enough, Jelly. It'll still happen though. <laughs> like it'll still happen. People will do it, and it'll be the right decision sometimes. It's still the right decision when he does it, isn't it? Sometimes. So. I <laughs> know I barely do on a two plus, but there you go. <laughs> JFW All Stars! Oh yeah! Glorious! Glorious! <laughs> the only bad thing is, uh, I fucking hated the Blue Man wrestler. And I haven't made the Mad Jock yet, have I? <laughs> Very good, Morida. <laughs> that, is, that is the gold standard, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the losing his nine part, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Jelly Up. Yeah, probably. I mean every every team's the same, aren't they, at the end of the day. Make two dice. Um make two dice blocks. I hope you don't roll bad. <laughs> like every team's exactly the same. This star player is Willow Roseback. It's um it's like a dryad. Five, four, three, eight. Sidestep, dauntless on strength four, thick skull. I mean, he's a pretty crap player, really. But, um. You know. <laughs> yeah. Real, real high effort, yeah. Um. Well, that's nice to be able to say, Jelly Deal. <laughs> right, he'd like to do. Oh, he could do two passes. Squirrel Dude could do two passes. in there, he can't do two passes now. Crazy, is there? Punch the guard. Eh? Yes. Cast him. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. Glorious. Which one's the Saka dancer? Strength four, mighty blow, hopefully. Otherwise, sidestep. Yeah, what they should have done though, Jelly, was just not give SPPs for completions. Isn't that the better, the better thing? Why? Like, why do they have to have? SPP for completions. Well, 
Well then, they, well, then they could keep passing the same, couldn't they? Or they could keep the D3 MVP. It wouldn't devastate us. <laughs> Let's yeah, sorry, Tony. It just it just ended. Um... For fuck's sake, Tony! <laughs> Stop being shit. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. No one's gonna pass anyway. But if if, but yeah, you know, like if you, if you did and you had five, if you if you had MVP being five at five SPP still, then um, and you had D three MVPs and L's would be doing loads of passes to level people up, wouldn't they? I don't know why they didn't think of anything good. To be honest, like it's not gonna be terrible. It's gonna work, isn't it? And it's gonna people will like it. So, like, it's all going to be fine. Yeah, Tony, you are a bit of the team punching bag. Unfortunately, someone's got... You just look unlucky. You know, that's the way it, the cookie crumbles, in it, with elves? Some players get SPPs and others don't, and the ones that don't end up punching bags. Yeah, exactly, Jelly. That's that's exactly what I agree. I agree completely. I think, honestly, I think it's probably... I think, in my opinion having never played Blood Bowl 2016 so you know it's a brilliant it's a, it's a really informed intelligent opinion because I haven't played Blood Bowl 2016 at all um, I think Blood Bowl 2020 is worse than 2016 um, but better than CRP so I am quite I am quite looking forward to it you know, to use it Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Dev, yeah, the classic blitz, then dodge away. Disgusting. <laughs> they are getting clawed. <laughs> Skaven. Um, my opinion is they don't exist, as <laughs> as Try said. <laughs> he got injured. <laughs> Wanker. <laughs> oh, look a dog. Look a dog with the uh, with the region. <laughs> yeah, it was the AV bus, wasn't it? <laughs> Incredible. He'll be thinking to himself, God damn it. Screwed by that minus injury. Oh, the double ones. Well done. <laughs> How old Villy Nitch? There's a. Blue pack would say. It did end in some tackle zones. Yeah, so it's all right. Um, <laughs> not great, to be honest, Billy. Really. Not great. Uh, there might just be one game today. Hello, Ordon. Three rando MVPs, and then you pick one from the three randos. Yeah. Or you, or you select three. Whichever way they did it, like you, you couldn't roll for three and then pick one amongst them, because that would be a complete faff on in real life, wouldn't it? Nominate three, and then D three is the best one. That was the best rule there ever was for Blood Bowl. <laughs> And then it's ended. 
What an absolute tragedy. I don't know, the journeyman rule's pretty good. No, it was just good here, Dev. It was just good. It was pure good. I never played with it, but it was only good. Why would you not play lizards anyway? <laughs> the game is not balanced on purpose, as everyone loves to say. So there can be no complaints of balance, right? <laughs> in any in any edition of Blood Bowl ever, in anything, people are like say, "Oh, it upsets the balance." There isn't a balance. There's purposefully no fucking balance in Blood Bowl anyway. So why should anyone care about the balance? Alright, well he can get two completions hopefully. Could blitz him. I'm going to clear that so I can 2D him. First, see what happens. Nothing good. No, never lucky. Glorious day. No. Poor old Willow. Gallag. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you know what he thought? But what probably what he thought when he saw Fumble in twenty twenty seventeen was but we've playtested the bank rule. We need the bank rule. We playtested it. We playtested it for literally hours. It doesn't matter that Fumbles not used the bank rule for fucking six years and they've never needed the bank rule. We playtested it. It should be in Blood Bowl 2. Oh, it is. Wonderful. Thanks, Gallic, you massive cunt. Oh, sorry, everybody. <laughs> Try not to uh, swear, but there you go. Yeah, it probably was. Probably was. You just need to learn the new skills, is what he said. I don't know how people can be that deluded. I really just don't understand it, man. I just don't understand it. Like, shouldn't you know enough about Blood Bowl if you're making the rules? Shouldn't you know enough? The fucking fend and sneaky git are not answers to fucking corp on. <sighs> Beggar's belief.
<laughs> I think it'll be interesting. I think it'll be. I think it will depend on uh, on the league and situation and stuff. That was pretty funny, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this is fine. Oh, he's, he goes to the dial school of there are no dice. Maybe. I even get to follow the dancer, don't I? Yeah, yeah, to be fair, when when they made the rules in head office that someone came in to their to their league, saw the story goes. I don't know if it's true or not, but someone joined the league who had played it outside of this outside of the studio league and he started fouling people with dirty play. <laughs> and they they were <laughs> they were shocked. <laughs> they were shocked when all of their characters died. <laughs> Yeah, fighting. I've been awake, awake for a couple of hours, and well, not really a couple of hours, an hour and a half. Yeah, thirteen. Gonna get another. Gonna get another skill as well. Glorious. <laughs> oh, hello, fatin. The the nimble expert himself. I'm I'm taking nimble in my in my latest playthrough. Everyone's gonna go nimble, pretty much. I fucked up though. I could have had a, I could have had a really good battleforged guy, but I gave him dodge, and then I was like, why the fuck have I given this guy dodge? He could actually be battleforged. He was a peasant. He was not a peasant. A fa they're all peasants. He was a farmer. He was a farmer with 119 fatigue starting. And I fucking gave him dodge. So now, like... I mean, I could still give him battle forge and he'd just be one perk down. But his dodge is going to give him, like, one. <laughs> one initiative, isn't it? <laughs> or something. One or two initiative. <laughs> one or, like, one or two defense. <laughs> Which I guess isn't that bad a perk. It's about the same as as underdog. <laughs> um, well, there you go, Izumu. You know, really, they should have thought about multiple uh, multiple formats, shouldn't they? I think. I think you've got to appreciate where people play the game, and if people play the game in like you know, Fumble and Blood Bowl Two and that, if more people play it there, then. You should think about, you know, maybe he's just making some rules for that that actually work or whatever, but then on the other hand, who gives a fuck? Not, not them. I guess it doesn't matter, they don't make any money off it and that's the only thing that matters, isn't it? Sorry, that's just me being, me being childish again. Yeah, no, they don't make any money off it, do they? So what, who gives a fuck? Maybe I just score. Don't get the foul in. Yeah, no, it didn't need a solution. Yeah, it didn't need a solution because 
Why should they care? It doesn't exist, does it? Bucks Fizz, no problem, Frosty, as long as you're making your mind up. <laughs> See what I did. I think Dodge is just better than, than Underdog, by the way. Now, like, you know, thinking about it, even in armor and, and with, with a pole arm and a double hander, you're still about 70, 70 initiative. So you're getting about 10 defense off Dodge, which is more than you're usually going to get off off Underdog. By far. That's, like, far better than Underdog. And then, obviously, it will go down eventually, wouldn't it? Um, over the course of the fight, but then by the time it goes down, the fight should be decided anyway, shouldn't it? That's so interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, and the, the league, the league testing the rules, it's terrible, isn't it? It's so, it's so like, small and badly done. Like, you know, it's just, you're not going to get any significant play testing done, are you? It's just not possible. It's just literally not possible to test to, to, to play test it properly. Really. It's just not possible. Certainly not for the amount of money Games Workshop want to spend on it, which is zero. And the amount of time they want to spend on it, which is zero. <laughs> because how much how much impact will the rules being balanced have on the sales of Blood Bowl three? I'll tell you. Zero. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So why should they have played? Why should they play test it? There's no point. It doesn't make any sense to play test it. Yeah, exactly, Pablo's. Like I'm sure the play testing at, at, at was just was just some NAF lads going to the going to the head office, playing some games with teams, exact same teams that they'd use in NAF and say, oh. We'll need an extra 50k to make these teams in the new rules. And they were like, okay. <laughs> and then they played a few games with themselves with a slightly worse leap. <laughs> That's what I think the playtesting was. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, Dev, yeah. Yeah, so leagues are different as well, yeah. But then, you know, they shouldn't care about Fumble or Blood Bowl 3, should they? Because again... And they shouldn't care about anything. They like they, they don't need to care about the rules at all. Like it doesn't make any sense for Games Workshop to care about the rules because it literally doesn't make any difference to how many copies they sell, and how many copies they sell is the only thing that matters, isn't it? Dream Shard. <laughs> they are, they are, don't know, like, they are. People, people say that, like, taking the piss. But they fucking, they've done their market research and everything, and they know it just doesn't matter, don't they? So it just literally doesn't matter. Like, loads more people are going to buy that box set because it's got it's got fucking black orcs and uh, you know imperial nobility in it. They're not going to care about what the rules for black orcs or imperial nobility are, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so that's it. Exactly, Adev. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure they could employ people with the intellectual capability, but why should they? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> so you just gotta, you just gotta realize. I merely infer the works, most likely scenario using the available facts and my own observation. It's the same with the fucking wrestling and that, isn't it? You know, people 
people who like wrestling, you know, hate a lot of things about double double and stuff. And it's like, well, no asking. I don't think asking top coaches help at all. Helps at all, Jelly. I don't think that helps at all because I think, well, first of all, they did do that. First of all, they did do that, um, Jelly. Because we know some of the people who were involved. However, what I believe those people did was play some NAF games with the new rules with a slightly worse re leap. <laughs> That's what I believe happened. <laughs> but Well, that was real. Yeah, but that the, all they care about is min-maxing profits, isn't it? Oh, well, not min-maxing, maxing profits. That's all they care about. So, yes, obviously, as fans of the game, we want the game to be as good as possible. But then you just need to realise that it doesn't matter to them. And nor should it matter to them, because the only thing that should matter to them is making more money. Because that's the way the world works, isn't it? Whether you like it or not, that's the only thing that matters to anybody. Oh, they definitely will, David Leckel, yeah, they definitely 100% will. There's absolutely no way somebody who can make a two dice block in Blood Bowl 3 plays Blood Bowl 2 and doesn't know how to make a two dice block anymore. A move. First of all, I don't. I think they're completely incapable of doing that. I think they will deviate from the written rules. Well, probably maybe. But I, okay, I think in one way they will deviate from the written rules to make their game better because I don't think they'll. Ha you'll have to declare an action, which is a great change for a PC game, isn't it? Like, there's absolutely no reason to declare actions, and some fucking idiots in the Blood Bowl Three Discord were like, "Oh, we've got to have it the same rules, so you've got to declare your actions." Fuck off, do you? <laughs> yeah man, able to make two that's all there is to Blood Bowl, isn't there? Two dice some lads. That's it. Yeah, that's true way dev, yeah. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough, David Leckle, fair enough. Yeah, that's a thing, because it's like it's not just exactly there's you know and and people are selfish as well people are, people are like well people are like selfish as well aren't they in that some people who are good at the game would just want rules that would benefit them personally wouldn't they rather than what would benefit most people and stuff like that oh yeah click the ball click the end zone you've got to do that to win as well but most i think making two dice blocks is more important and clicking the ball. Oh look, Tony is no longer the sacrificial lamb. He got he got an MVP. All right, well only two 0 but no one died, so that was nice. <laughs> Sorry, Art. <laughs> Sorry, Art. Sick, Tony, stop being shit. <laughs> well, no, I said more important than clicking ball, clicking end zone, isn't it? Keep up here, Dev. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Get your fucking blue face paint on and fuck off. <laughs> Haven't you got York to sack? <laughs> Ooh, God. <laughs> I wasn't being serious. 
<laughs> for a Scott. <laughs> you take the wrapper off before you deep fry your Mars bar. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear me. <laughs> Choked, I choked telling that joke, but never mind. Right, it's a shame about the miss next game. Maybe as I should have appled it. Um, I would obviously rather roll guard on the guy with dodge already, but never mind. Um, but it's still good to get a guard a guy, isn't it? J5 still needs to remain as bench. <coughs> <coughs> well, not as bench, but as potential bench. I still want the third reroll because I like rerolls. Being able to uh, play free, I think, is very good as elves. There you go. Vile <laughs> Ryan by a Jordy. Four and all, absolutely glorious. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.